a man because they feel like they feel like a woman telling them something is very different from a, from a from it coming from a man's perspective. Like you know him not understanding why I've been celibate for so long, or you know you haven't had sex for so long. That doesn't make sense to me. But maybe from a man's perspective, if it was a man saying that they were celibate and explaining to him why and how and and what God has done to to keep him. No, I think maybe that, he um, would it, understand it, or is it just that he just want what he want and that's it? I think that I think it's a couple of things. I would I would I personally am now curious to find out what is his lineage like. Mm, mm. Because I'm thinking okay. that it's this this started way before him. Right. And that um the men may have operated this way. Mm-hmm. And God says that he visits gener- how many generations for curses? Oh, and, and I think that's over 300 years when he says back to the seventh generation. Or so a, if so when he when he does that, it's all it's like it's like when your soul, when you come down from heaven and you go into that womb, those curses are already present. Mm-hmm. And unless someone breaks those curses, they're going to continue. Now, okay. everyone has a different load of what curses they're going to get. But I can guarantee you, if you do your research on his lineage, mm-hmm. that the men have operated this way. So that's so he's going by what he sees. You know, he's yes. So he's, I'm like, I'm like sorry, said, but the, the enemy no, has no. Right? Yeah, the you enemy has a don't... legal right to operate in him. And mm-hmm. and that that not I guarantee he hasn't been through deliverance. So that demon that is operating in him in those scales that are over his eyes, he mm-hmm. can't see it and he won't be able to see it until he goes through some form of deliverance or he I... begins to develop his relationship with the father. And so you have to... as well, correct? Because that lust is there. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. He hasn't been delivered. That, I can guarantee you. Your prayer has to be different. Your prayer has yeah, to be he different. He hasn't been. It, anytime a man thinks it's okay to do certain things, that goes for any of us, right? Right. right. Fornication, <laughs> um, covetedness, uh, envy, jealousy, name any of the strong men, right? Mm-hmm. They, they are going to operate until you're delivered. Absolutely. And a lot of times people don't want to talk about demons and they don't want to talk about being delivered, but that was most of Jesus ministry. Absolutely. And I'm like, what Bible are you reading? Because he would, he would come and set the captives free. He would set people free. I mean, mm-hmm. one guy, they, he brought his son to him, like their disciples couldn't free them, couldn't free him. So what's the problem? And mm-hmm. he had to, when he began to deliver, the boy was shaking. He said the guy was shaking and falling to the, into the fire. Like these people had to be delivered. He would even say, Jesus would say, your, your sins have been forgiven. Go mm-hmm. and sin no more. So that lets you know that people had to go through a, a level of deliverance. And Absolutely. people don't want to talk about that. Nope. When I see things now, I know that because I've been through deliverance several times. And I know that you don't go through deliverance once or twice. You continue to go through deliverance. Absolutely. And the only way you're going to sustain it is the word of God. You've got to get the word in you. You got to establish a relationship with him. And then you have to go also through sanctification. The Lord has to sanctify mm. us and mm. purify. We cannot do that. We can't do it. He has to do it. And when he comes in and fills those places that you were filling with women and filling with men and filling with other things when he begins to come in and feel that you don't have the desire not to please the lord right you don't have that desire to Mm -hmm. go and do other things that don't please the father so i see that as someone that is not delivered and someone Mm -hmm. that and one thing something someone said too you can't be delivered from something that you want and if he really truly wants it despite the knowledge he yeah. has you cannot yeah. be delivered um mm-hmm. i was listening to a lady who operates in deliverance all the time and she said she couldn't deliver this lady and she was like father i don't cast out this demon da, 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 da. what's wrong with this last one and she said god was like go back because she was gonna walk away because she was like she spent all this time trying to deliver her mm-hmm. and he was like basically showed her the demon wasn't holding her she was holding the demon she wanted it some people want their lifestyle. They want Girl. what they want. And that they goes want. for all of us, right? They, I mm-hmm. had to even say, do I want to go this deep in God? 
do I want to really be this deep? Do I really? You have to decide on what level of what you're willing to relinquish. And if he doesn't want to be delivered, then you're never going to understand things of the kingdom. You're just a carnal Christian. You're not spirit filled. Mm -hmm. And it's okay if that's where you want to stay. Mm -hmm. Just don't come over here. That's how a lot of times people get caught up, you know, when someone, if I wasn't this type of strong woman that I am in my faith and my belief in, in, in what I'm doing and the journey and the path that I'm on, his words could have affected me, you know, because I've been trying to date and things and things have been going to the left. And I'm like, you know what? They're going left. I'm going right. I ain't got time for it. So with that statement that he made to me, I could have been like, but dang, Danelle, like, hmm, maybe you need to like, you know, loosen up a little bit or you know, you've been you've been single and celibate for a long time. Is something wrong with you? Cause that's that's it ain't just for him. I mean, most men that I've told, they've been like, that's a long time. I'm like, does that bother you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that kind of cause I, I'm thinking that something's wrong. Why something gotta be wrong? I should just spread it open and bust it wide for everybody. Mm -hmm. Then would how would you think of me then? <laughs> if I tell I had sex it was 20 minutes ago. Then what would you be thinking? <laughs> you know To what? be honest, now I'm going to say this. I, I'm torn about sharing that with anybody because even my sister-in-law mm -hmm. thought it's funny. She thought it was funny. How long has it been since you had sex? Blah, 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 blah. I said, chill out. Right. <laughs> and I was like, it's not funny and right. it's not cute. Mm -hmm. So my sister said something this past weekend. Mm -hmm. That we need to quit casting our pearls before swine. Mm -hmm. And right. this purity mm -hmm. journey and the 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 state of where we are sexually mm -hmm. and spiritually should just not be shared with some people because they are not going to be able They're to not, handle. Right. They're You're not right. in that place. And you yeah. are not my tribe. It's mm -hmm. okay. It's okay. It's not, you know, like I, I was telling my sister, I feel like I done lost count of how many years it's been. But at this point, it took that. <laughs> it took that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know my journey. God know my journey. It took that. So, yeah, I'm not like, y'all don't even know. And some men, you know, if I'm talking to them. How can we hold this for the soul? I don't, I don't even know <laughs> there. I mean, no, I mean, some things just shouldn't be shared with, right. with, um, with with another person, period. Like my my sex life and where I am should not be shared, and it should not be a state of discussion with someone that I that we know is not on the same spiritual level. Mm -hmm. Period. And some men that I talk to, I just sometimes will I won't even say that I'm selling, but I'm just like I know that you're in a different place than me. What do you mean right. by that? I, I know that this is something that you're going to want. And that's just not where I am right now. Right. Absolutely. I'm just not in that place right now. And I know that you're a very physical person. Mm -hmm. And this is how you like to express yourself. And mm -hmm. this is one of the things that you want to do. And um, that's not where I am right now. So we're good. Okay. <laughs> and, <Yeah. laughs> and just have to leave it at that. Because I feel like. Like my brother said, my brother, from a man's perspective, I think that some men see it as a challenge. Mm. They see it as a challenge when you tell them that, oh, you you don't have sex with nobody. Da, da. So that's why I'm like, some people don't need to, like, you know, I see now that you don't need to know that. Unless right. you're showing me that you truly are going to, one, you're in the same level as me. I mean, you're mm -hmm. spiritually, you know, on the same, we're aligned properly. Mm -hmm. If you're really trying to court me, I want to see how you're going to try to court me. I want to see your seriousness. And then as we begin to get in a little deeper, then I'll, I'll, if I see that maybe you're not there yet or you're not here, then it just depends, right? You have to pray and decide whether to share those things with someone because they can knock you off. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, I'm with you. They can, they can knock you off your game. You'd be like, mm -hmm. yeah, like you said, maybe I should. Yeah. Like what? What for all these years, you know? Yeah, me. Hello, me. Me too. <laughs> I feel like you know, I, my last few good years of fertility, I could have been buzzing it open. You know what I'm saying? Like what? But I had to get to a place to too to know that even 
no matter time, space, or whatever, your covenant with God is more important than anything else. And the in a covenant that you make with a man is so fickle mm. and so up and down. If God doesn't truly, truly put you together for a specific mm. purpose in the kingdom, it's so fickle. So the covenant it's with the Father. Honor that covenant. Man, uh, you don't know what man gonna do. But God will definitely honor the covenant for sure. Yeah, so I'm like, look, it's more important for me to make a covenant with God that I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to, I don't want to continue what I started or the things that I was doing before with my body because I gotta get rid of the demons that I opened up <laughs> myself to from all the other trash. Mm -hmm. let's be for real let's be for real some of them covenants brought in demonic spirits and they brought in things into your life some people are sick right now because of sleeping with the wrong people no i'm like serious like nobody want to yeah. get serious about that like but it's serious real like talk. for no, real you you're you're sick and you it could be deadly ill it could be herpes it could be aids it could be hiv it could be all of that um the, what's the other one? HPV, all these different things because you have opened up a door. Mm -hmm. You opened the door up and now you want to go talking to God. Oh, really? And that, that goes from, that's why I'm like, I had to be real I with myself. I dodged a many a bullets. I dodged a many a bullets yeah. with somebody that was out there living his best life. And I said, you know what, God? You kept me from all of that. And you ain't got to worry about me no more. <laughs> I'm going to make sure. Amen. Yeah, I'm going to make sure it's not in the year. It ain't in the high. No. Amen. Like I, God, I, thank I, you. I my happiness and my peace for nothing. Amen. Mm -mm. I thank you. God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you.